Scarlet Paw, Bubba Sparks. Yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the world. Booty, booty. Good morning, YouTube. Basically, I am on my orientation day as far as for medical assistant, y'all working from home. Um, I'm pretty much doing my orientation right now, so I'm going to just kind of flash and kind of show you guys as far as for what I'm dealing with. Um, you're going to go to training. Um, this is showing my orientation. So basically we're doing like a dial in where basically I'll be on the phone um, and they'll be like sharing their screen with me and everything like that. Taking a lot of notes as you guys can see. But however, um, I'll be sure to let you guys know as far as our house, everything going with working from home for medical assistant. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Good morning, YouTube. It's Desi and I'm back with another video, you guys. And as you guys may know, I am working from home now. So I've been so excited, you guys. So relaxed. I ain't have to deal with them patients, y'all. I mean, I still deal with patients, but it's not like... I'm dealing with the same crap you guys um so I basically wanted to just talk to you guys as far as for what is it like working as a medical assistant from home um so I'm technically on day three now with orientation I'll be doing orientation with my project manager so I'll actually be going today to understand as far as for what I'll be doing day by day for my routine um so far as far as for my other orientations they've basically been just going over um HIPAA violations um also OSHA you know making sure that we talk about with the privacy with the um Pass passwords um you know just the overview as far as for the company um you know just the simple stuff that you would go through as far as for orientation we went over just the COVID-19 awareness um you know all those type of things I wasn't able to record as far as for day by day what I do but I could basically talk to you guys about it um that actually would be violation within the company so I can't really just show you guys but however I could just kind of show you how the setup is and um pretty much on what I'll be doing um so the good thing about this job is um one I'm working from home so I really love that um two is more pay and it has better benefits as far as for health benefits so I was actually looking for that as far as for a medical job as well too um, I'll still be working with physicians so with the job basically what they do is they partner you up with different physicians that work at different um, you know hospitals so say for instance they could partner you up with st. Vincent's they could partner you up with Mayo Clinic um, you know and I'm just naming hospitals here in Jacksonville Florida but they could um, partner you up with UF Health it all depends on um, which physician you get assigned to and once you get assigned to that physician I'll pretty much find out today as far as for what I'll be doing day by day but basically it's like collecting the data um, making sure that I put in as far as for e-clinical works because I will still be using e-clinicals um, you know the medical medication history the directions as far as for the medication that the doctor will assign for the patient I have to put in their pro uh, problem history uh, which is the chief complaint um, also update their surgical history you know just updating everything that you would do on an everyday basis um, so the difference between what I was doing between pain management medical assistant to now working from home medical assistant um, one one thing that's different is um, I'll be working with different specialties so you never know if you'll be working with cardiologists or OBGYN primary care pediatric it all just depends what kind of physician you get so I'm very excited about that and I actually feel like that's actually cool because you're getting experience with each um, you know specialty you just never know which one you're gonna get um, also too I like the fact that I have my own entire environment so one thing that kind of pushed me away with pain management is that I knew that eventually we were gonna end up opening back up um, you know fully as far as for the patients but I just feel like it's not safe just yet you guys um you know it's just a lot of worries as far as for the COVID-19 not only that um you have people who actually got the injection and still actually testing positive as far as for the COVID so you know that kind of worries me um not only that the fact that I could work from home is such a A plus because the job that I was working at is way across town on where um you know I work at and don't get me wrong I don't mind working way across town but traffic has been building up and here in Florida they have to actually do inspections on the bridges here so one of the bridges that I go over they actually had to do an inspection on that because the bridge was actually opening up the other day um they actually fixed it now but it was too soon I feel like so I actually was taking a long way home but um those are the type of precautions that I worry about um good thing about working from remote one it saves you on gas you don't have to really keep you know driving everywhere to kind of find out where you're going to go um two also, you are able to have on a set schedule. So my schedule for me is 8 o'clock to 4.30. Um, when I was working for pain management, it was 8 to 5. But with pain management, we wouldn't leave till technically when the doctor was ready to leave. About this job, basically, 
we literally start wrapping things up once it gets time to like around 4 30 and so now i have not did a full shift from 8 to 4 30 because i've been training so basically i've been like 8 to 12 or 8 to 1 um you know 9 to 12 it all just depends and i'm getting different people that helps me out with human resources but i definitely feel like this job is something to kind of wind down for right now until i really really you know want to go back into working medical assistant in office um i did tell you guys that when i do go back to working medical assistant in office i'm willing to do OBGYN. that's really one of my practice that i really would like to go back to um i had my experience with pain management it was very nice pain management is nice and all y'all you learn plenty but it has its downfalls with pain management you're dealing with a lot of patients who are you know opiate medication they're always in pain you know it's always going to be that one patient that's kind of like a drug addict who just keeps wanting more and more medication you know you have to deal with a lot of patients that's going through withdrawals and they get really upset when they can't get their medication it's, it's a lot um the thing i like about this job as well too i'll be working with multiple doctors so i definitely feel like that's nice with pain management i was only working for one doctor and i feel like i was best with working for one doctor but it has its pros and its cons that's one thing i can say it has its pros and its cons and the thing about working with multiple doctors you have to figure out which each one likes but the fact that i'll be remote is not like i have to like organize each setup for procedures for each doctor you know so it's kind of um decent that way the more that i find out with the job the more that i'll let you guys know but i did kind of want to show you guys as far as for how do i have everything set up um pretty much as far as for how to get a job with remote best um your best friend for getting a remote job is indeed you always got to make sure you go on indeed they have plenty of job opportunities you guys just continue to follow up with the employer um they also show you the status of your application so i would just type in remote jobs medical assistant or remote jobs near me it all just depends and it also depends on the state that you're in because a lot of jobs aren't remote due to the state but i know here in florida they have plenty of medical opportunities for you to go remote so what i'm gonna do for you guys right now is show you guys pretty much my setup um i can't really cut the computer on or anything like that because that's just kind of like the violations and everything but what i will do is just show you guys as far as for what how i have it set up in the day-by-day -day things that i'll be doing okay so let's go y'all So this is pretty much my setup. I like to get me a little sunlight in here. And this is pretty much how I have everything set up. Um, I have my computer right here, computer right there. As soon as I get started on here, I always have to cut this part on. Um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna ask you to put password in and that kind of just gets started off. Good thing about it. Right, so y'all, this is pretty much how my schedule is gonna be looking all throughout the week. Eight to 4.30. So we're looking good on that. Just pretty much waiting to clock in right about now. Um, I'm going to clock in at 8 o'clock and just continue on with a lot more training. Um, Y'all, I've been taking notes like crazy. Like, And the crazy part with this job, you're not supposed to have pen pencil and paper. So i actually been learning a lot of skills with Microsoft Excel. Uh, we can't depend on um, paper and pencil when it comes to taking a lot of notes. So the more I know, the more I'll let you guys know. I'm very excited about that. So uh, just got about five more minutes here and I'm going to go ahead and get started. But um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all let me know as far as for what do you think. Do you think that you can work from home for medical assistant? Um, you know, let me know as far as for what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all stay safe. Peace, y'all.